Hello, my name is DJ Crazy Jimmy, aka James Dwyer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. A Delta airline pilot decided to dump some fuel over a heavy populated area in Los Angeles, California. He dumped the airline fuel and it infected 67 people in Los Angeles over an elementary school, pretty much, and he affected a lot of children as well. So I was pretty surprised by this story. I just got the news article this morning here in the Philippines, so I didn't realize that that was something that an airline pilot would do is dump a bunch of airline fuel into uh, a heavy populated city but the FAA is investigating this story and uh, they're looking into seeing why he dumped the fuel over a heavy populated area because if the airline is supposed to dump fuel they're supposed to do it in a, a certain elevation to where the fuel will evaporate before it hits the ground they're not supposed to dump it over a heavy populated area so I'm just, I hope that none of the kids that got affected by the airline fuel are going to get a major illness or anything like that. But I don't know what it's like to get airline fuel dumped on you, but that's not good. Rush, Neil Pert. Neil Pert passed away. And that's a pretty sad story because he had brain cancer. He was 67 years old. Neil Pert was 67 years old and died of brain cancer. And uh, Tom Sawyer was one of my favorite Rush songs of all time. I actually love that song. It's a, a great song. And the drums on it are amazing. Neil Peart was an amazing drummer. He was just an amazing drummer. You can watch any of his drum solos on YouTube. I'm pretty sure if you're a Rush fan, you've been watching videos on, on Rush recently, like some of the Neil Peart videos where he's doing drum solos and stuff like that. I'm a drummer personally. I've been playing since I was like 18, 16, 17, 18. That's pretty much the years I started playing. I'm 37 now, so I've been playing for a few years, but I haven't played every single year consistently. And I have not played in a band playing drums. I just like to play as a hobbyist. And Neil Peart was not necessarily my role model drummer, but I would say he's he's up there as far as one of the best drummers around of all time. And it's just really sad that he passed away. But at least his music lives, at least his story lives on in his music. At least, you know, he, he wrote a lot of the lyrics to rush and i thought he was an amazing musician not just a drummer but just a musician in general what else is going on well in the philippines right now that's where i'm at so in the philippines we had a, a um a volcano erupt near manila it's batangas is the name of the place where the volcano erupted and it shut down the Manila airport for a couple of days. Like for a day and a half, it shut it down because there was too much ash that they couldn't, for, for, we couldn't have operations as normal in the airport. So it's been a mess. I've seen footage of uh, different, what, animals and different cities and towns and villages. And it's all white. Just a whole soot of white ash has covered everything. So that's pretty much... What's been going on here is that uh, the airport got shut down and I'm going to be heading back to the United States here in the next, what, month. I thought I was going to leave February 3rd, February 5th, but I decided to convince my wife to let me stay until the 20th of February. So I'll be heading back around February 20th to back to Oregon to where my family's at and then I will be getting a trucking job, a truck driving job, and I will hopefully be hitting the road and be learning how to drive a truck and getting on with life in the United States without my wife. Unfortunately, I'm so sad that my wife has to stay in the Philippines while I go back to the United States to bring her there with my visa. But that's the case. So other than that, let's see, there's nothing else going on. Well, there is something going on, but I can't talk about it in this video because I can't say what it is until a couple more days from now. So I'm just going to keep it a secret. And maybe when I make another video in a couple days, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. Maybe if you are interested in what I have to say, come check my videos out in a couple days and I'll, I'll tell you what it is. And um, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, well, we just had a family member come back from Manila. We had a family member from the next door neighbors. I don't know what relation she is to me, the family member. Uh, we call her, we call their kid Wi-Fi for you because she used to say, always say Wi-Fi for you, you know. <laughs> she always wants the Wi-Fi hooked up to her tablet or her phone or something so she could watch YouTube and kid videos. And so we would say, we want Wi-Fi for you. And so we, I just call her Wi-Fi for you. That's her name. That's what we, we call her. But... A family member came back from Manila, so we get to visit with them for the next week, and then they head back. 
and I've been playing this game called Ingress. I absolutely love Ingress. I've been recording Ingress videos in the past and uploading them to YouTube of me playing the game, but I'm not going to do that again on this channel, but I don't think so. And, uh, and I've been going to take Bowen. I want to go to Atone. I want to go to Ilo Ilo City to play the game, but I don't know if I'll get a chance to go to Ilo Ilo City anytime soon because... Recently, we've been just hanging around the house, and that's pretty much all I've been doing. Like I've said in my previous videos, when I'm in the Philippines with my wife here, we just hang around the house. I went out to the beach and got a sunburn. That was a pretty interesting thing that happened. But, uh, I mean, it hurt pretty bad, but I've been feeling a little bit better now that I put some aloe vera on it. Other than that, the Delta Airline pilot decided to dump fuel into the Los Angeles. This is astonishing. I never thought a pilot would just dump fuel over a crowded area. A uh, volcano erupted in Manila, and it caused a lot of people to be disrupted from where they were living. And um, so that's pretty much what's been going on in the world's news recently. Other than Iran, I don't know what else has been going on with Iran. I haven't followed their news stories recently to see if anything has happened and where they decided that they're going to create a war. I hope the heck not because um, they we don't need another war going on in, in the world right now. I know that there's other countries out there that have civil unrest because they, they always have civil unrest and we just don't need Iran to be one of those countries where the United States has to send a bunch of troops to start a war. I hope that this kind of blows over with Iran. I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know what's going on with the story right now because I'm not in the United States and they don't cover the news very well out here. And if they do cover the news, it's in Tagalog and I don't necessarily understand the TV to what it has to say. So I read news articles that are in English. I follow a news article company that sends push notifications to my phone so I can read some news articles. And that's pretty much it. I watch the news on, uh, I watch American news on YouTube but I don't get a chance to necessarily come and see what's going on in the United States because I'm not in the United States to listen to the radio, to listen to TV, and kind of get to see what's going on on a regular basis. So other than that, thank you for checking out my video. I'm DJ Crazy Jimmy, AKA James Dwyer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. And if always, as always, if you leave a comment, I'd really appreciate it so much. And if you really feel froggy, Go ahead and hit that likes and subscribe button. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for checking out my video.